Hey everyone, a super quick update video for you today. If you're watching this shortly after it's been released, it means we are presently out on the Minas Link route in Algonquin Park as I speak right now. It is a crazy 420 kilometer long route through the park. And I'm gonna be linking to a GPS spot tracker link down below where you can follow our progress online in real time if you'd like to follow. Uh, and you can also see the route by selecting a date range uh, to see the history of the path, uh, if you'd like, on the settings of that page link down below. And we're also going to be using the trip to raise support for Project Canoe, which is a fantastic cause that helps get youth out paddling through a fun new challenge that I'm calling the Canoe Flip Challenge whereby you flip the canoe from the ground up to your shoulders and back down as many times as you can in 60 seconds, and then donate $1 per flip directly to Project Canoe through their website link down below. In the optional message field of their website, just list uh, Canoe Flip Challenge so that we can track how much the challenge raises for the cause. And yeah, afterwards, I'm gonna challenge three other people who hopefully accept the challenge and then subsequently challenge three other people and keep it going, uh, feel free to get inventive with your flips. Uh, feel free to flip it once and just donate more per flip. Uh, feel free to uh, use two other people to flip the canoe onto your shoulders. Uh, don't, don't go super crazy, it's not a race. Uh, don't injure yourself doing this. Um, feel free to get creative with levers and pulleys uh, and somehow get the canoe onto your shoulders. Uh, I'm not sure how you're going to do it, but I'm sure you're going to be creative about it. Uh, or you can just flip it uh, the, the old-fashioned regular way. Um, in any event, uh, I hope you then tag those other people and keep it going. Uh, because I'm currently out on the route with Julia right now, I'm going to need your help, viewers help at home, to let the people that I tag know that they've been uh, tagged in the challenge so that they are made aware and then hopefully do it. Um, today I'm going to be flipping a 38 pound 17 foot Kuwaitan. So without further ado, go! That's one. Two. Three, you got this, four, 20 seconds in, five, yeah girl, six, you can do it, seven, 35 seconds in, eight, Nine, you're rocking this. 10, 10 more seconds. You can do it, 11, keep going. 12, one more, 13 on the dot. Woohoo. So today I'm going to be challenging Joe Robinette, I'm going to be challenging Karina from Alexis Outdoors, and I'm also going to challenge Bill Swift from Swift Canoes. And also, if you, the audience, feel inclined to take on the challenge, consider yourself challenged now and go for it. Just be sure to challenge three other people afterwards. Also, feel free to use the hashtag online canoe flip challenge. Uh, feel free to post uh, videos of yourself uh, flipping the canoe on, on YouTube or on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook, any of those platforms, and let's make this thing big. Let's raise as much support for Project Canoe as we possibly can. Again, fantastic cause. Link down below if you'd like to know more about them. Also, if you'd like to know more about the Minas Link, I'm going to link to Algonquin Outfitters webpage down below about the Minas Link. Uh, it was co-created by Gord Baker and Alex Hurley as a tribute to Bill Swift Sr., who is one of the co-founders of Algonquin Outfitters. 
Uh, the root itself links all the different AO locations together into one root. And Gord also runs a fantastic Facebook group dedicated to the Manus link, which I'm also going to link to down below, where Gord often provides additional really interesting commentary about the people going through the Manus link. Uh, if you go over to the Facebook group and participate and follow along with uh, what Gord is updating people with uh, over there, uh, please be kind. Gord has a day job at Algonquin Airfitters. Uh, and so I think what he's doing with the Facebook group is really special. Uh, he puts a lot of work into it. So uh, my hat is off to you, Gord, for uh, all the work that you put into it. Uh, I think what you're doing is fantastic. It's awesome. I should also mention that there are many different ways of doing the Minus Link. Uh, some people do it with full support crews, uh, with meal drops along the way, uh, and help en route. Uh, but we are going to be aiming for one of the fastest unsupported times on the Minus Link, which means all the food for the entire trip starts with us at the very beginning, uh, which means a lot of additional weight going up the Big East River uh, and through a good portion of the route itself. Um, but again, aiming for one of the fastest unsupported times on the Minus Link. Uh, we're doing this expedition style and uh, run what you brung. I'm also going to be filming out there and making a documentary from the trip, uh, which I'm sure will slow us down a little bit if you know how much I film. Uh, but I think the link is going to create uh, a really interesting story for us uh, that I'm excited to share. Uh, or I'm, I'm sure will be excited to share. Um, a tremendous amount of training has gone into this trip, and it's also why I built the canoe paddling area in the basement, which you folks saw earlier this year. I wish we could put a full eight months of Ironman training into this Minas Link attempt, but it's, it's been a challenging summer, as I'm sure it's been for a lot of you folks. Uh, Julie is a public health nurse, and with the added stress of COVID, um, it's also brought back an unfortunate reemergence of some of Julia's concussion symptoms. Uh, if you don't already know, Julia had a concussion while out cross-country skiing with her dad a few years ago, and unfortunately some of the stress from the summer has brought back some of those symptoms. Uh, luckily, thankfully, uh, canoe paddling and hiking through the forest has been very therapeutic for Julia. Uh, so we're hoping that this vacation and trip is exactly what she needs to get her head back into a good place. We have been training a lot, uh, but I'd say we've probably trained about four months uh, for this Minas Lake attempt. And on a week-to-week -week basis in terms of training volume, it's probably been about a quarter of the training volume that we do for an Ironman and probably at about a quarter of the intensity as well. Uh, again, I wish we could put a full eight months into it at 100% intensity and 100% volume of it on a weekly basis. Uh, but this is the best we can do at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try our best and go at a spirited pace. So looking forward to it. I also need to give all the trip sponsors a huge thanks for helping make the documentary a reality. A uh, big thanks to Ontario Parks, Algonquin Park, Swift Canoes and Kayaks, Algonquin Outfitters, Backpackers Pantry, and Sal's Marine PFDs. A huge thanks uh, for helping make the documentary a reality. A tremendous amount of work goes into these, uh, into these projects in terms of post-production and editing. Also, a huge thanks to our patrons as well, who also support the channel. Um, it's going to take a little while for the documentary to come out afterwards, uh, but if you'd like to hear some of the stories from the trip sooner, uh, we will be talking about the trip afterwards in our Patreon live streams, uh, which I'm going to link to down below if you'd like to uh, participate and hear more about the stories uh, that come out of the trip sooner. Uh, so. Yeah, check that out if you'd like to know more about that. Again, feel free to follow us online through the online tracker down below, uh, through the Facebook group uh, that Gord runs. Uh, please take on the canoe flip challenge if you're inclined to do so. And uh, yeah, 
super stoked to get out there. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time, we'll see you then.